Well, we like to do cool, fun, and collectible cars regularly here on the channel, and this qualifies for all three. A 1967 Camaro convertible, first year. Convertible's quite rare. This is not the original color. In fact, there's been many modifications made to this car, so we'd classify it as a resto mod. This car originally sold here in Canada, in Edmonton, and it's made its way here to the coast. In fact, the owner of Coastal Auto Center here in Vancouver is the owner of this car. He does a lot of work for CORE at CORE Motor Cars, and thanks to CORE Motor Cars, a shout out to them for getting me this car for the day. And he's also my mechanic as well. So this car has been owned by a mechanic, and it's been treated to quite a few upgrades. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning, cool, fun, and collectible. Collectible, certainly, and this car will be going on bring a trailer and sold, and someone's going to get a really nice example. Now, I'm going to take the camera off the tripod. We're going to walk around this car. I'm going to show you on the outside what's been done to it. Under the hood, of course, the inside, a quick spin, and let's get at it. Now, what you see here in the front is the original grill and the original chin spoiler at the bottom there. And there you see Core Motor Cars, so shout out again to Core for organizing this today. Now, one of the modifications is the stripe across the hood, the black stripe. By the way, this is Dodge Demon Gray. It is not the original color. The original car was red. Uh, the owner that has this car now got the car in this color, continued with it, and I think it looks good. Dodge Demon Gray. All right, love the chrome bumpers. Next up are the wheels. These are Detroit steel wheels. But what's been done is the center caps have been modified to fit inside the wheels. And the owner of this car tells me this is the first one he's seen that's been able to do that. So those look pretty cool. Now I'm going to show you under the hood in a moment. We'll get to the suspension, which has been upgraded to coilovers. A little spoiler alert. It still has a 327, still has the original block. I'll show you that in just a second. Come down the side of the car. Now the owner tells me this car was in fabulous shape when he got it. Even though it's a Canadian car, it had no rust. The floor was good. And you'll notice these subframe connectors there connecting the rear suspension and the rear axle to the frame, the rest of the car. It makes it more solid, especially if you're driving a convertible with no roof to give you support. Up here we have Coastal Auto Center based in Vancouver. The owner of that establishment is also the owner of this car and has done all the work on it. The rear spoiler, not original. It had to be modified a little bit so it would close properly. But this is the angle of these cars I love the best. Just look at that. A rear three quarter. Clean lights. The wheels fill out the fenders. This is a good looking car. Now in the trunk you can see the custom stereo that's been put in. And when I show you the inside in a moment, it's pretty clever what they've done to keep the aesthetic on the inside original, but have a modern system. Now this is the book. This is the book right here. This is the book that's got everything in it. All the original stuff. All the paperwork. This car has been around a long time. You collect a lot of paperwork, but the nice thing is it's all here. Look at that. Okay, now we get to the business end here. This is the original block, so it's a numbers matching car, but the internals of this have all been upgraded, been rollerized, so you get a much more efficient car. Uh, carburetors have been updated, and then you can see the, uh, the big master cylinder there. This has discs up front, drums at the back, fully modernized braking system, nice looking engine, that's important. And down here, you can see the tubular front suspension that's been installed in this car. So it's got coilovers at the front, still leaf springs at the back, upgraded steering rack. And the steering is probably one of the most impressive things about this car. So front suspension, steering, it all comes together. I'll show you that when we go for a drive. So nice clean interior. The rad looks like it's brand new. All the struts and mounts in here are looking great. All right, let's have a look inside before we start it up. So the first thing you'll see here is the Hurst shifter. Okay, this car originally was an automatic and was changed to a manual. But this isn't just any manual. This is a Tremec 
five speed, so a modern transmission, which really revolutionizes this car. And you see behind that, the original radio. Well, that's just a facade because the radio is actually controlled on the steering wheel. See that there? Volume forward and back. So this has been upgraded to include a Bluetooth audio system. You saw the big sub in the back. So you basically do it through the app on your phone to get the audio. So it still has a classic look though. Original dials, a tack has been mounted here in the center steering column. Beautiful interior, bright red, fantastic. Carpets looks amazing. Seats look amazing. Oh, look what I found here. This is an appraisal that was done on the car. And it goes through the vehicle and gives all of the condition ratings. Body, excellent. Inner panels, excellent. Paint condition, excellent. Underside condition, excellent. Interior, excellent. Bright work, chrome work, excellent. Mechanical condition, excellent. And this car, in June of last year, so just over six months ago, was valued over $150,000 Canadian. So there you go. Nice looking seats. Excellent in the back. So that's the outside and the inside. I'm gonna put the GoPro on, let's go for a spin. Remember these lap belts? There you go. I'm buckled in. <laughs> All right, let's start this thing up. So, quickly about this engine. I told you it's got the internals have all been modernized, and that was all done just 2,000 kilometers ago, so roughly 1,200 miles ago. Not that long. All right, in goes gear and a hydraulic clutch. Easy, right? Easy to drive. And this thing makes all the right noises. All the way from the manifold back is all new, new headers, new exhaust, and the right sound. <laughs> now the first thing I noticed when I drove this car is the steering wheel is so thin and big and oh so correct for this era. But because this car has got all new steering components and suspension, it really is quite amazing to drive because the whole idea behind a resto mod is to have a car that looks period correct and to have to hand it to the owner of this car that, you know, from a short distance away, it certainly looks original. When you get closer and you look at those wheels, you realize well, they're not just the regular black wheels with the center caps, they're actually something different and unique different color of course but you want the car to look period correct but have all the modern running gear or as modern as you can get in an old car so coilovers new suspension and also disc brakes it's gonna make a big difference but the steering rack is for sure fantastic because you get much more in the way of steering angle out of this system All right, so the owner of this car tells me with the modifications done to the engine, the exhaust system, all of that kind of stuff, now we're talking around 400 horsepower. Originally, this car would have had roughly 300 horsepower. So it's got the go and the show. I like it. So what do you guys think of this? Tastefully done? I would say it's very tastefully done. Very clean looking, very simple, period correct. Modifications have been done to make it a better everyday driver. So this is the kind of car you could buy, collect, but also drive with confidence knowing everything's been upgraded. The suspension, the brakes, the cooling, the engine, all of that. The uptake on the clutch and the shifting with this modern five-speed gearbox, then you add in the soundtrack. That's fantastic, easy to drive. Of course, it's got a lot of the old car feeling to it, but with the modern upgrades, easier to live with.
So a first year 1967 Camaro convertible is a very cool thing to drive and certainly to own. As I mentioned, it's going to be on Bring a Trailer. This car is uh, getting up in age. You know what? This car was introduced the last time the Toronto Maple Leafs won a Stanley Cup, 1967. Thanks to Core Motor Cars for setting this up. And if you like these old, fun and collectible cars, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one.